Hello everyone, welcome to this 60 minutes uh, video in which I would like to present you a uh, surprise weapon against the, uh, against the French for, for white. As a 1E4 player uh, throughout my career, I have been struggling to find a nice weapon against uh, the French. I've been playing all sorts of systems and I always found it a very difficult opening. Just let me bring up the first moves of the French, E4, E6, D4, D5. And um, well, there are, there are many options here, of course. You can play Knight C3, the classical mainline. Knight D2 is leading to the Tarash system. Uh, the advanced variation with the move E5 is, is also uh, possible. So there are a lot of ideas for, for white to, to play. My experience is that black players, they are familiar with these structures and they know what they are doing. So at some point I realized that the move Bishop D3 is a sort of a sideline and it may look strange to develop your bishop first before getting the knights into play. But there is more phenom to this move than one may actually uh, may think. And based on this particular move, bishop d3, I have created a small repertoire for white uh, to, um, to pose black some, uh, some little problems. It can lead to very sharp, exciting attacking play. In other lines, uh, play becomes somewhat more positional. But without uh, needing uh, a lot of theoretical knowledge, I think it's possible for White to get a nice game, easy development and uh, chances to, uh, to put Black under pressure. And well, perhaps it may not be considered to be the, uh, to be the main response against uh, Black's French. On the other hand, uh, why would you study 30 moves of theory and it also doesn't lead to um, to an advantage for white at all in the in the main lines so i think bishop d3 is a great line uh for for white at least um, you may surprise your uh, your theoretical opponent so well what are we going to discuss well in my opinion there are like three uh, uh main moves for um for black first of all there's the move knight f6 which i don't consider to uh, to be a big challenge in fact i really like white's uh, prospects as you can see in the uh, in the first video then uh, we will have a look at the move c5 uh, which uh, may lead to more sort of tarash type of positions could lead to iqp positions uh, to to play uh, against um, it's it's an interesting move and uh, probably the play should be around equal but here there are also some little ideas for white, white, which I would like to, to share with you. And then at last, the, the main continuation, uh, in my opinion, is to take on e4 with the idea that after bishop takes, uh, black uh, will get his knight to f6 with tempo. And um, well, the, the, the main point of this move, bishop d3, is spending so many moves with that light square bishop. The, the point is that now we don't get a, a very typical French sort of structure and it's more looking like a Rubenstein variation where black captures on e4 but with a bishop on f3 the idea is to to put some pressure on that uh, b7 pawn uh, preventing black from getting his uh, light squared bishop uh, into play and um, of course there are some pros and cons one of the advantages is that the bishop is nicely placed on that diagonal on the other hand, White has played a number of moves with that uh, with that same piece, so it remains to be seen whether it's uh, good enough for an advantage or or not. But that's well, that's something we are going to discuss in the um, in the final uh, video. So uh, hope this gives you a good overview of what we um, what we will discuss. And uh, well, let's just go to the first video then.